Welcome to Ticketmaster Studios. I'm Dave Archer. This is our series where we look at some of the players that could affect the Falcons early on in the draft. We're going to talk edge players today and why not? Atlanta struggled a little bit to get after the passer. There's some guys in this draft that are big time players. Let's start with Will Anderson, the big time player out of Alabama. Now, I don't necessarily think Will's going to be available for Atlanta in the, in the, eighth, the eighth pick. I think this is a guy that's going to go early on in the draft. You could argue this is the best player in the draft. Got tremendous bend coming off the edge. Brand 4 6 at the combine, 37 sacks in his career at Alabama. What can you say that had already been said about the first team All American? Uh, elite power off the edge, elite bend to be able to get to the passer, to be able to close, to be able to make the play. Uh, this is just everything you want in an edge player. Just don't think he's going to be available for Atlanta. Let's look at some of the guys that will be available should Atlanta stay at the eighth position. And the first guy that comes off the board, off the mind to me, is Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech. Six foot six, 271. Bigger edge player, right? Ran 475 at the combine, which is outstanding as a big player. Seven foot two wingspan. Now, this causes major problems because his ability to lock his arms out, keep people off him, especially blockers on the edge, his ability to lock out tackles, make whatever move he needs to make, and then his ability to close is outstanding. We talked about the 475, his ability to get to the quarterback. How about that wingspan being able to block the ball on passes out to the edge? He can defend the run equally as well. Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech. Moving to our next player, Lucas Van Ness out of Iowa. This is a guy that we don't know a ton about yet. I mean, this is a guy that didn't play a ton at Iowa, certainly didn't start at Iowa. He started off playing some of the interior. He's a redshirt sophomore. He had a lot of success in 2021 as an interior rusher. You see, get him getting after the passer there from that three technique position in the interior. That's what's cool about him is his versatility. He's six foot five, 272 pounds. He ran four, five, eight at the combine. So great closing speed. His ability to defend the run in the pass is equally as good. He's got a really good bull rush. He had nine sacks as an edge player last year for Iowa. As we move along in our edge rush analogy, here's a guy that I think a lot of people know, right? Nolan Smith, different size player, right? We had the 270 pound guy. Now we slide down to a guy that's 240 pounds. And this is a guy that is off the charts from a human being standpoint. Everything we've been able to gather uh, about Nolan Smith, he's a local product. Savannah, Savannah, Georgia, a kid that can play linebacker. He can play interior. We saw him even make plays from a three technique in this Georgia defense. But what you see about him is the instincts, the ability to play the run there. See in zone read, takes the back, then takes the quarterback. His ability to knife to the inside with his outstanding first quick step. Uh, just amazing. Nolan Smith has some serious talents uh, at that edge position. Here you see him against Clemson making a play on the quarterback. So a guy that could be there, Nolan Smith, no question about it. Miles Murphy, we just talked about Clemson. Here's Miles Murphy. Now this is a guy that in between the 275 pound guys and the 240 pound guys is the 258 pound or 255 pound Miles Murphy. Now what you're gonna see about this is he got really good hands to swat the hands of the tackle off. Closing speed is there, which you need. A lot of strength, 225 pounds in the bench press. This is a guy that can throw people off him. And then you see the closing speed of Murphy to be able to get home, get the quarterback on the ground. Here's another play coming off the edge. Look at him close. Close that cushion, put a, a versatile quarterback on the ground here. Love Miles Murphy's ability to defend the run game there as he closes off that backside. So those are some of the guys that could go in the first round. Let's look at some guys, if you don't go edge, let's look at some of the guys that may still be there. This is one of the deepest positions in the draft. Will McDonald at Iowa State, all-time leading sacker. B.J. Ojolari and uh, Derek Hall, two guys out of the SEC. You've seen a lot of, you if you watch football down here in the South, how about Andre Carter out of Army? 15 and a half sacks two seasons ago as a cadet at Army. And then, of course, Isaiah Foskey at Notre Dame. This is, these are guys that are going to go in the second round now. So we talked about five. Here's five more. We didn't mention Keon White, the guy at, at, at uh, Georgia Tech, another guy that potentially could be. This is a deep group. Get ready. Atlanta's going to have an opportunity to find a guy that will help this group. Arnold Ebicati, and you got D'Angelo Malone, Lorenzo Carter. Add a couple of these guys or a guy like this. Wow.